enjoying my beautiful people, my beautiful, beautiful friends and family out there. This is Dr. Destiny. I am back to complete. I think I am going to conclude this book today. This book is on 30 second nutrition and I have done up to five series. So today will be series six and I will conclude this. If I need to come back to this book another time with information, then I'll do it then. But today, I will drop this information about this book in the description box as well as in the comment section. And this series was about nutrition facts. What you need to know about. In each series, I did a different nutrition fact. So today, my nutrition fact will be on mineral minerals and this will be series six and the conclusion of this series again i'm dr destiny i am a holistic health and wellness coach as well as a fitness trainer or i'm just a little bit of something for everything but just get to know me by coming over to my page and watching my videos my intro videos or my about page and you'll learn more about who dr destiny is so it's not so much about who I am, it's about what I want to share with you, the knowledge and wisdom, so you can get the information that you may have been looking for, or look, information that you're not quite sure on, that you want to clarify or verify some things. So let's get started with this nutrition facts here. What you need to know about minerals. So let's get started, and like I said, you can't pick up the book and this information in the comment section as well as the description box. I will be reading from this a book as well as I will be also interacting or giving you information on this as I go. Now, minerals are inorganic substance that are not made by living things. These minerals now, they are found both in soils and rocks, hmm. but they are absorbed by plants, and then they are eaten. Minerals are largely classified as major minerals or trace minerals. There are two types of minerals. I said your major minerals, and then you have your trace minerals. Now, your major minerals are those that the body requires in amounts of at least 100 milligrams per day. And they include like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, phosphorus, and chloride. Now, your trace minerals they are needed in the amounts of less than 100 milligrams per day. And some of these are uh, trace minerals such as iron, fluoride, zinc, and manganese. And they have established recommended daily allowances or adequate intake to ensure adequacy. And a third classification known as ultra trace minerals and they require less than one milligram per day and they would include like chloramine copper iodine uh, molybdenum and selenium minerals now they play a role in maintaining a healthy immune system which is so important that we need with all the different bacteria and viruses and things that, that's coming around into to, to this day's society, we need something to keep our immune system strong and healthy. So that would be a good thing. As I said, these minerals that we need in our bodies, and we have to take so much, you know, intakes of certain minerals, and we can get supplements with also these different minerals. And as I said, these minerals they play a role in maintaining a healthy immune system. Also, it plays a role in your bone and your teeth health, 
as well as your muscles contraction, which is all of that is so absolutely important for our body to maintain this healthy state of being. Also, it helps to maintain your fluid balance and your overall growth. Now, a healthy diet of fruits, my people, we always talk about those healthy diet, that this healthy diet of eating all those fruits, getting those leafy green vegetables and getting those different food variety colors of, of fruits and vegetables. We need that as well as we need whole grains. And the, if you're a meat eater, yes, meat eaters, yes, lean meat. Stay away from red meats. Stay away from red meats. They are not healthy or wholesome for your body. But a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables and whole grains is to eat meats, lean meats. It's one way to ensure the adequate intake of minerals. Now, another way to get your minerals, as I was saying, is in supplementation. Like I said, you can get uh, supplements. You can see your uh, your uh, doctor. You can see your health dietitian, whoever may be, and you can get uh, supplements as well to get those different minerals that you need for your body. That is a great way also through supplementation. While deficiencies may present Dementorum or dementorum or demental health. I'm so sorry. I'm going to repeat that again. As I was saying, while deficiencies may present detrimental health conditions, it is important, very important now, listen to this, to be aware of intake amounts of whatever that whatever uh, mineral that you are taking. Please keep a, a daily list of whatever minerals or vitamins or anything that you're taking so you know the right amount of doses in case you need to refer that information to your health practitioner. So that is very important to be aware of your intake amounts when supplementing to avoid toxicity because sometimes you can take over too much and it be too much toxin for your body. So you want to avoid toxicity symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, which may occur if you overconsume two amounts of those minerals in, in your diet. Now, minerals can complete with each another in the absorption process, which takes place in the small intestines. Also, Common food sources for minerals are your beans, your peas, dairy, if you eat eggs, cereals, fruit, meat, poultry, vegetables, whole grain, as well as seafood. Also, iron deficiencies like anemia is the most common mineral disorder in the world. So, it is estimated that over 30% of the world's population are considered anemia, including 40% of our preschool children in developing countries. And that is something, y'all, that we need to make sure that we're getting the right amount of minerals in our diet each day, the right amount of minerals with supplements or supplements. So people, major health consequences include impaired physical or cognitive development, which is increased risk of morbidity in children and reduce productivity in adults. Now, iron-rich foods, fortification and supplementation, it helps though to relieve those symptoms. So please make sure that you, like I said, consult with your health care practitioner. Please consult with your uh, your diet, your uh, dietitian, health uh, practitioner, whoever that your doctor may be, to make sure that you are getting the adequate amount of minerals that you need for your body. So I'm going to conclude this series on minerals, nutrition facts, what you need to know about minerals, and this will be series six. 
putting a pin in it right here. I'm done with this here. I do have other videos out there on minerals, essential minerals. I have videos out there on essential vitamins. You just got to go over and find those playlists and you know you can get more information. But the best way you can also get your information is to do your own study, your own research. And just search, search, search till you find information that it agrees with your body or something that you can relate to or something that will just spark something inside you like okay i got this i need this and you know that sucker feels what you need so do your own study research guys i'm gonna check you out at the next video i am done with this series for right now as to say if i need to come back later and pick up some more of these i will but i have a lot of information out there already check out my playlist on uh, real food and on health and people you will find already out there, people, i got loads of information. And like I said, there's tons of information on the internet. Guys, I'm going to talk to you guys at the next video. This is concluding Series 6 on Nutrition Facts, What You Need to Know About. And today, what you need to know about is minerals. Thank you. Namaste, lovely souls. I'll see you at the next video.